Hey guys, so I am calling. We got these tickets to see Ice Cube during the um, NFL draft that was gonna be here in Vegas. I think the date was April 25th, was the date of the original tickets. And then this whole COVID happened. So they postponed to September 25th. And now I still don't think that's gonna happen. But um, so I was trying to figure out because we're leaving for Panama. We want to get our three hundred dollars back from this Ice Cube show. It's supposed to be September twenty fifth, but uh, as far as I know, they're not doing shows like that in Vegas. So we'll see. So I go to call, and this is what we find out. I'm gonna put it on speaker. We're gonna call. Welcome to Viego. If you are contacting us about an event that might be impacted by the coronavirus, please press one. All others, please press it. If the event organizer has canceled your event, you do not have to do anything further. We will contact you by email with the next steps. If the event has been postponed, you do not need to contact us as we are actively monitoring for updates. And we will contact you with the new date as soon as it is announced. If you have seen an official announcement regarding changes to the status of your event, and after 24 hours you haven't received an email from us, please contact us by logging into your account and clicking Contact Customer Service on your order. For the most up-to-date information regarding events impacted by coronavirus, please log into our help center at www.viagogo.com forward slash help. If the event organizer has canceled your event, you do not have to do anything further. We will contact you by email with the next steps. If the event has been postponed, you do not need to contact us as we are actively monitoring for updates. And we will con... So there it goes again. It's on repeat, but... Basically, they're saying, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just postpone, just postpone. But here's the thing. We're going to be leaving the country. We don't want to go to this show anymore, and we can't get our money back. This is ridiculous. For a show that we wanted to go to on April 25th, 2020, now it's pushed out to September 25th, 2020, and now even past that, I'm sure. We wanted to go to a show during the NFL draft. We don't want to go to a show a year from now. We're not even going to be living here. And that's how a lot of people here in Vegas had gotten tickets for things. And they're probably not even going to be here when they now postpone these things instead of giving people their money back. The reason why they don't cancel is they don't have the money to give people their money back. So they just keep postponing. And that is BS. Because that th there should be some sort of fraud there occurring because th they need to be refunding people of their tickets. They can't just say, oh, we're going to postpone for two years. I mean, what is the limit on how long they can postpone these things and keep your money? This is ridiculous. We want our $300 back, Ice Cube and the Orleans and Viago. And it says, we are continuing to inform you that a new date for your previously postponed Ice Cube event at Orleans Arena has been announced. The event will now take place on, oh, September 26th at uh, 7 p.m. So when I got this email, I had to say, fine, okay, great, changed my date from April 25th to September 26th, whether I want to or not. Like I didn't have, I called, they said I couldn't cancel. No, nope, all you can do is, you can, it wasn't canceled, so you can't cancel. I'm like, this is BS. And so now, this one is September 26th. We're leaving on September 30th. So if this gets postponed one more time, we're going to be out of the country. And they're going to still be holding on to our $300. So my question is, how long can they just hold on to our $300? And everyone's, ours is $300. But what about the Raiders? What about their 70000 or whatever for some of these tickets? How long can you postpone these things? What is the legal thing of how long you can just... Oh, well, you'll give your money back or get, you'll go to an event in the future or whatever. Oh, you'll go to an NFL game two years from now. I mean, it's ridiculous. There was a lot of fraud occurring already, but now the COVID is, you're starting to see it come out when you realize, oh, wow, these people really didn't have a setup for, to actually ever refund anyone. 
and that's not right. You have to be able to refund someone if they buy something from you, you know, like if you allow that, you know, and um, they a lot of these things that said they allow it, now they're doing these shenanigans because they didn't really have the funds ever because they didn't actually expect something crazy to go down. So like, I don't know what they're doing with some of these season tickets. If they were funding, I know some um, some uh, NFL teams, I think, are refunding. Other ones might be postponing to the next year. So we are going to Panama. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe and follow us on our journey. We have Jedi Rich Career Producers, so search Jedi Rich on YouTube. And we all now have Jedi in Panama on YouTube. Please subscribe to both and follow us on our journey. If you can't come in person, then just watch us on social media. Like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a rolly or Seiko. Step on deck your neck or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down. Open the Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out, check it out.